G'day ladies and gentlemen, Duckville here. I've got a StarCraft 2 Heart of the Swarm cast for you all to enjoy today. It is going to be a Zerg vs Protoss. It's the 21st of November 2013, uh, where in fact this morning we actually had the, uh, the news come out from Blizzard about the changes to WCS 2014. Might put together a little video just talking about that, but uh, if you are from the future, then of course that has uh, all come and gone, and perhaps it has been a success, perhaps it has not. Who knows? We'll see what happens as time moves on, but let's have a look at these players included in this particular replay here that was sent in. Up at the top right hand side is our Red Zerg player on Yonsu LE, by the way. It is from StarCraft Ascension, Cross. Now, StarCraft Ascension, they uh, got quite a few decent players over there in the NA scene. And we'll see how Cross goes here today. Just double checking, wants to see if, that, uh, if there's any, any funky little early probe over there that uh, he needs to be careful about from his opponent, who is down here in the bottom left hand side. It is our Blue Protoss, Willy, who will be starting out with what looks to be a Forge First expansion. Yeah, this has been. Um, Ever since the WCS Global Finals, where there was a, uh, a bit of cannon rushing going on, you could say there was <laughs> there was a little bit of cannon rushing going on, um, but uh, it was a really interesting finals, and since then, a lot of Protoss players have just really been bringing out the cannons, and not necessarily hugely offensive cannon rushes, but sometimes just uh, doing, uh, doing the old noob check of just putting like a pylon here to block out the natural, then putting a cannon up at the back, just very simple kind of things, non-committal kind of, kinds of attacks like that, that really threaten the Zerg's economy as, as the game moves forward. So we'll see if uh, Willy is going to do something akin to that. He has, uh, he can scout, has he, did he actually scout that? I don't think he did. No, he didn't actually scout out that the pool wasn't first, but due to the timing, of that hatchery going down, he could probably assume that there's no real way he's going to be able to successfully cannon rush that natural down at the back there. We will see a cancel gas here from Cross, just uh, not deciding he didn't really need that um, the gas there for the moment, just perhaps deciding to switch his strategy around. Now you may be saying, hmm, well what about if you try and block off the natural here? And from what I remember, I haven't actually done it, but you can uh, three pylon block the natural here and it set up a little cannon to uh, to attack that natural, but as like it's it's just not as viable. Like normally you want to try and be able to actually block off the hatchery before it completes or before it even starts is the best way to do it. Then of course you've got the added factor of that cross went for pull first. So he's not gonna suffer as much at the hands of a standard kind of cannon rush. So Willy is going to uh, just expand back at home, has his cannon, a gateway, and of course a bunch of probes all ready to rumble here inside the main 20 probes are out for our Protoss, of course, once he gets that second Nexus up, the double probe production, the double chrono, will really help him out in getting his economy kick-started. Of course, to counteract that as a very standard part of Zerg vs Protoss, we'll see that Cross is going to set up his third base over here, however, the scouting probe that originally came across is now actually going to pick up that that base is there, so we may see, yeah, a follow-up cannon rush from Willy to be able to disrupt the mining and uh, possibly even kill off this third base. In fact, given that this uh, this is only about around right about halfway done, it might be quite a while before uh, the cannons are spotted and therefore perhaps the hatchery will be done. We'll find out very soon, but the lings are still poking about. We've got a couple of overlords just uh, scouting around here for Cross, trying to keep an eye on what's going on. I do like to see the Overlord actually over here on this position where you can scout the gas very easily. This little position is quite nice. I mean, it's not necessarily in, in a totally dangerous position, but the only real thing you can do from here is just head inside the main base. So it's uh, sort of a little bit of a different um, position for that Overlord. This one uh, around to the side, yeah, it's not, not badly placed. So it'll keep an eye on any pylons over here. But the big trouble now for Cross, back on his side of the map at the third, the cannons are just about to finish up, and that means that this third has is in quite a lot of trouble. A queen is going to start, but I don't think it's going to be able to pop out in time. In fact, uh, yeah, he's going to cancel that. We will cancel a third cannon as well. No overcommittal here from Willy. He's just deciding he wants two cannons, more than enough to take care of the hatchery. A single drone pops out and says, well, I can't really get to work over here. I've got to head, uh, head back to another base, and Cross is going to expand to a new third base over here, as I have uh, sort of been 
debating, I guess, in, in previous uh, matches that I've casted on here. This is sometimes a little bit of a, a dangerous base to take. Colossi can come and just stand over here and rain down fire on top of the uh, the mineral line there, but you know, we'll see if that comes about when we do get to that stage of the game. But Willy has now killed off that hatchery, and a few more drones will pop out for Cross. He's going to have to evacuate them out of there. His drone count is not bad at all. Like, I mean, he hasn't actually lost any drones, but uh, with the delayed third base, that is going to affect affect his production capabilities and his economy for a little bit here. So the Roach Warren will go up. It is uh, perhaps a, a little bit later than you would normally expect, but it's not too bad. Over on Willy's side of the map, we do have a Twilight Council here, and uh, this, in fact, may not get scouted. I mean, the Overlord that was down to the side has actually moved up, is checking inside the main base, will find a couple of extra gates that are in here. But other than that, is not going to see exactly what's going on. So. Cross is going to have to either sacrifice another overlord to try and find out where the tech is from his opponent or just build up some preemptive forces and that is what he's going to go for here 11 roaches are going to pop out in fact 13 are on the way we'll probably see the lair get started very soon so that he can get some uh, roach speed started up and what I'd be interested to see is uh, if he is going to go up towards the uh, the Burrowed Roach tech. This is, uh, of course, in the new patch. This is all of the replays that I've been doing after basically, you know, the last two days have been uh, from the new patch. So perhaps Cross might go for some Burrowed Roach play. I have heard, some people have said that uh, like a Stefano style max out on Roaches actually can be quite deadly when you get Burrow and the Tunneling Claws upgrade. So we'll see if uh, perhaps Cross is going to go down that direction. Willie here has prepared quite a few centuries so he does have some good defense but for how long will it last because he is going to have a lot of roaches poking up here at the sentries and at the, uh, the cannon and I mean Willie is really doesn't have that much firepower. He's got a few sentries and uh, of course a couple of stalkers there as well, but slowly but surely the force field will dissipate and eventually, yeah, and especially, wow, losing his uh, losing his upgrade there is, is a little bit unfortunate for our Protoss player, but um, Willy is going to be delayed a little bit here and perhaps some of his tech was revealed. Let me just double check. Yeah, it was. The Twilight Council was revealed and uh, that means, well, I guess that... Um, that Cross will be able to prepare for this kind of play that is coming up. We've got, obviously, Blink Stalkers are on the way here for Willy. He already has uh, the Blink Tech done. We've got a few sentries out. Normally, you'd probably want a few more sentries than this. Maybe another three would be quite helpful in pushing out. And the interesting thing about what he has done here is that normally, uh, like, quite a lot of the play on Yonsu will revolve around the Protoss taking this high ground here, setting up shop with a pylon or a warp prism over here, and then pushing into the third base that is a normal kind of third base here. But because he has cannoned that base and has uh, removed it from the playing field, this is now the third, and it kind of changes things because you have to walk up a ramp, you have to come uh, down, uh, oh, sorry, up through the back door ramp or something akin to that to be able to actually get in there and get some damage done on the third base. So this could be a very interesting attack from Willy. I mean, with his, only with the plus one weapons, no armor or uh, anything like that to help out with these stalkers. We'll see how much damage he can get done. He's now going to push up towards the destructible rocks here that have not been taken out by Cross. So this also gives Cross extra time to prepare. We've got Burrow, we've got the uh, Roach Speed just about to finish up and plus one weapons is also on the way. It looks like all of those things are going to finish around about the time that this attack has commenced. So a few force fields will go down, separating quite a lot of the units. We'd love to see some of these roaches head around the back, and that is exactly what Cross is going to do. He's now going to come in from the backside, flanking a lot of the stalkers. They will be able to do a lot of damage here, and with some blinking, Willy, Willy should be able to trade nicely, but there are just so many roaches, and without a huge amount of reinforcement capability, like, you've got to consider that uh, we only had just have those seven gates operational now, and Willy, well, I mean, he's forced to back off for the moment. The, just the engagement there was not the best of situations, engaging up a ramp, into like getting the force fields was nice but then you have flanking units coming from the back so perhaps not the best engagement i perhaps would have rather to see something come along here maybe some uh you know like a hallucinated phoenix or something come along so they have to blink into the base there but uh, as you can see willy is now going to have quite a lot of trouble on his hands the roach is pushing forwards blinking out of danger there are the majority of those stalkers a couple will go down at the front a zealot is going to be warped in he's actually not needed there but uh, as you can see with the activation of the Focus on Overcharge, 
does have it. He's not going to use it though, it seems. Just sort of letting that go for now. But the Mothership Corps will just uh, keep an eye on where all of those units are. And uh, I think for the moment that Cross is going to back off. He does have his economy looking a little bit nicer now. Up at 59 drones. We'll probably add on a couple more. Taking, a re taking it around about to 65 or so is what you would want at this point. And then you can either commit uh, a little bit more heavily to the big attack. Or you can uh, prepare to go into the mid-game, but Cross preparing a little bit of a trap, he's got lots of burrowed units here, they're going to unburrow in the Blink Stalkers being caught out, and a recall out of there does get them out, but the Roaches were able to scalp a lot of those uh, targets there, and that means that he is now able to push forwards, a very threatening presence now on its way, the Roaches have got their highlights, he is going to go for the burrow tech, so this means that... Uh, that our Protoss Willy is going to need some observers out if he wants to be able to catch what's going on here because these guys can be very, very annoying to deal with. They burrow underground and then they take, uh, they, they sort of, um, regen a lot of health, but as you can see, Willy gets a couple of DTs in. He's going to disrupt some of the economy of his opponent, bringing all of the units back. The drones are going to have to evacuate from the mineral lines, so Willy strikes back, and will he be able to continue on in this game? Like, I mean, he hasn't really killed a huge amount of drones. It's only a total of four, uh, sorry, five, so it, uh, it's not the hugest sort of uh, count of drones that were killed off. We'll see some of them transferring back to the main and the natural here. Unfortunately, these guys are just having a day off. Uh, I don't know what's going on there, but <laughs> Cross does finish it up. He's also got plus two to weapons on the way. The DT is going to come back inside and try and wreak some havoc here. What I would love to see is just a burrow and then just go straight in. There is a cannon there, actually, though, so we'll see what happens. But here we come with these roaches here. So many roaches are now out on the field. And we've got uh, a grand total of 60 one. They are going to push through. There is a force, couple of force fields thrown down, and there's the burrow. There are these speedy roaches just pushing through, and they're just going to just going to waltz on over underneath all of these units here, and then we'll probably press that magical R button and end the game for Willy. I mean, he's got no hope. The observer is not in sight because the robo has not even finished up this yet. But out they come, the roaches unburrowing. And they will be able to annihilate most of the units here. A lot of the Stalkers will be able to blink back and be very efficient with their Micro. But unfortunately, it is just way too much here. With the plus two weapons now finished up, Cross is able to just smash through the Nexus. Burrows underground and says, hang on, just give me a second so I can regen. But Willy GG's, and that will be it for him. So okay, this game does go the way of SCA Cross. An excellent little uh, back and forth game there with a little bit of DT action and some Burrow Roaches. Hope you all enjoyed it. Catch you all next time. Here. As you can see, 47 damage to bio units and then the 34 damage against other standard targets. His storms have also been wonderful, just spreading them out across the battlefield, doing really, really nicely there. And uh, for Minigun, he's been sticking with a very, a much more